What if there were a step-by-step -step blueprint that could take you from struggling to sell your services to more business and more money than you can handle easier than anything you can imagine? You could breathe easier and never have to worry about going back to a nine to five job again. Well, I've read Alex Hormozzi's $100 million leads and the lessons in this book when used correctly will put your business on the path to making millions. In this video, I'm gonna share my 10 biggest takeaways from the book and share show you why each concept is so powerful in exploding your business, how to successfully sell your service to strangers without actually selling. And I'll even show you the one takeaway that's gonna make you so much money you'd be crazy to ignore it. But first, you need to understand why just getting leads isn't enough. Picture an ocean full of fish. These are your leads. They're out there, maybe aware of you, but they're just swimming by. But amongst all these fish, some will actually bite. These aren't just any fish in the sea. They're the ones showing interest, opening their mouths, ready to be caught. These are your engaged leads, and engaged leads is really what this book is focused on helping you catch. So how do we not only get a lead, but one that's actually engaged? Well, most businesses do that by offering something small for free first to attract people, kind of like bait. This is called a lead magnet, but Hormozzi's take on lead magnets is a bit different. He's got a blueprint he uses for lead magnets that are meant to turn strangers into engaged leads using what he calls the problem solution cycle. Let's say you're a realtor helping people sell their homes. That's a big job, right? So before putting up the for sale sign, there's a lot to do. You know, homeowners wanna know how much their house is worth and they're always looking for ways to boost that number. They need great photos, some landscaping help, and maybe a few repairs. So we'd pick one small task, like showing them how to increase their home's value and do it for free. Why? It's not just helpful, it also shows them that we're good at solving part of their bigger problem, selling the house. And as Alex says, Every problem has a solution. Every solution reveals more problems. So once we've helped with this small thing, they trust us. Then we can offer our main services to handle the big stuff for them. It's all about earning trust with something small, then helping with the big goal. So you've picked the right bait. Now it's time to cast out your fishing line so that people can start biting. The only question is, what kind of fish do you want to attract? Because there's two different types of audiences and two different ways to reach each of them. We have a warm audience, people like your previous clients who already know you, and a cold audience, which is strangers. And then we have public outreach, where you reach out to a large group of people, and then private outreach, where you reach out to a specific person or a business. And Alex gives us a really clear blueprint about how we can advertise to all four parts of the graph. This is what he calls the core four of advertising. We have warm outreach, like sending out an email to your list, cold outreach, like buying an email list and reaching out to them, running paid ads to strangers, and my personal favorite, posting free content like blog posts, videos, or podcasts. One of these four parts builds way more trust than the others, and it's how I've grown my own business into multiple six figures over the past couple of years. Now, Alex himself tells a story in the book about how he surveyed all of his gym owner clients, and 78% of them said they had consumed at least two pieces of long form content from him before booking a call with him. So yeah, creating free content is that important to getting tons of engaged leads. But you have to make sure you do it the right way or you're gonna end up wasting time creating content that you could be spending on the business. So let's look at how Alex recommends doing it. So when sharing free content, especially for new creators, it's important to talk to your audience in a way that doesn't come across as preachy or arrogant. This one subtle change can make a really big difference in how your audience perceives your content and it shines a light on your authority too. And when you look through his YouTube videos, you can see plenty of examples of it in action. In fact, you can see examples of this from some of the most successful creators on YouTube. All you gotta do is shift from a how-to approach to the how I perspective. So instead of saying what others should do, it's much more effective to talk about your own experiences. This approach is less likely to be met with resistance because when you talk about experience, no one can question you. This makes you bulletproof. 
Another thing to consider when you're creating content is how to make it discoverable. So if you focus on topics that are too big too soon, the audience will listen to people with better track records than you. But you can narrow your topics to what you do and the place you do it. Example, plumbing in a certain town. If you do that, you can become king of that puddle. Alex calls this the puddles, ponds, lakes, and oceans strategy. I used a similar strategy in growing this channel. You know, I just started talking about websites my puddle, then I was able to talk about the bigger category of marketing, my pond. And now I can actually create videos about the bigger topic of growing a business, my lake. Once people start showing interest in your free content, they still may not be ready to go any further and pay you for your service. But this next concept is gonna help you break the ice when you're still new. It's gonna make it a no-brainer for people to say yes, help you get better and better at what you do, and it'll skyrocket your word of mouth and reviews, which is just gonna help you get even more clients in the future. Now, Alex likes to... To start with the easiest offer enhancer in the world, free. Yep, he actually recommends if your business is new or even if you're just offering a new service within your business, you should make the first five free. Here's why. First, it helps you feel better about asking for the sale, because in this case, your sale is really just helping. And these are Alex's words, not mine, but... You probably suck. For now, people are far more forgiving when you haven't charged them anything. But you can't keep working for free forever, right? You know, this next takeaway is gonna supply you with plenty of paying clients so you can keep getting better and better at what you do while still building up that list of referrals and reviews. So once you've helped your first five for free, it's time to start charging by climbing up the discount ladder. So for the next five clients, you'd offer them 80% off, then the next five, 60% off, and so on. When you increase your prices every five clients, you have built-in urgency for people to pay you now, because if they don't, prices are gonna go up. Now at a certain point, you may stall out and start feeling like you've gone as far as you can with it, but chances are you haven't maxed out how high you can go. This next concept is what Alex calls the core four on steroids, because it's a way of maximizing any of the four main advertising methods we just went over in three easy steps. More, better, new. First, focus on more. You know, whatever strategy you're using and if it's working, just do it more. If you're making videos and they're bringing in customers, make more videos. Then there's better. Once you're doing as much as you can, try to improve it. This means tweaking little things and testing them to see which one works best. You're basically fine tuning your strategy to make it even more effective. Then once you've maxed that out and your tests show that you're doing everything as best as you can, then and only then should you concentrate on doing it in new places, in new ways. So let's just say your main strategy is regular old long form YouTube videos. You could add a new placement like YouTube Shorts. You could add a new platform like uploading your same videos to LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook. But we know that doing more is the starting point, right? And the main way that Alex himself does more is by using the rule of 100. The concept here is really simple. If you're doing outreach, commit to 100 emails or DMs every day. If you're posting content, spend 100 minutes on content creation every day. Whatever your approach, by taking 100 key actions every day for 100 days straight, you will get more leads. And that brings us to the most impactful concept in this whole book. This one thing alone will guarantee you get more engaged leads and way more money. So imagine your marketing efforts is making the perfect cup of tea. The tea bag, that's your free content. And the water, that's your audience. So when you first put the tea bag in, the water doesn't change much right away. And you're not trying to rush things by dunking the bag fast to get a quick result. As Alex says, The more you reward your audience, the bigger it gets. So if you want to grow an audience, give far more than you ask. This is what Alex calls the give-ask ratio, but that begs the question, what exactly is the right balance of how much you should give away for free before you ask for a sale? Luckily, this formula has been pretty well studied and there is a clear answer. On a typical TV show, you'll get about 13 minutes of commercials per 60 minutes of airtime. And on Facebook, they'll usually show one ad for every four posts. That's a four to one content to ad ratio, but that's for mature ad networks like TV and Facebook. They're not trying to grow an audience. They're in the making money off the audience we've already got phase. So ignore what they're doing. 
we want to look at growing platforms. So newer platforms typically give at least 10 times before ever showing an ad or asking for anything in return. So now that you have engaged leads, you have to reel them in. If you can't sell them on your services, everything you just learned is a complete waste of time. Luckily, there is a cheat code that can help you turn an extra 40% of your engaged leads into paying clients overnight. All you have to do is make some simple changes on your website. So go watch this video next and I'll show you exactly what needs to change.